Salutations, uh, respected viewers. Here I am at the Langdon Down Museum in London, so the London suburb of Teddington. The Langdon Down Museum is named in honour of the late Dr. John Langdon Down. Dr. Down is best known as the man who gave his study to, who gave his name to Down syndrome because, as with many medical conditions, Down syndrome takes its name from the first doctor to undertake a proper study thereof. So, uh, John Langdon Down, he came from the southwest of England, although he had some Irish ancestry. Uh, Dr. Down was apprenticed to, a, to his father, who was a doctor, um, and that's the way uh, medical education often worked in those days. He later came up to London in his late teens, and he studied formally at a London hospital, and, and that's where he qualified as a doctor. It was in the late 19th century that doctors went to university as such. Prior to that, they studied through um, they studied through uh, hospitals and might gain uh, uh, admission to the Royal College of General Practitioners or Royal College of Physicians and so on. Anyway, Dr. Down was a brilliant physician and many people thought he had a glittering medical career ahead of him. And he shocked many by choosing to work with those with severe learning uh, disabilities. Um, until Dr. Down came along, we used a different nomenclature for people with Down syndrome. I shan't use that terminology because it would now be regarded as deeply degrading. Um, and so uh, Dr. Down, as I say, he was the first one to comprehensively study this condition and define it. Um, and he found that people with uh, severe learning disabilities could achieve a lot more than had previously been realised. And so he set up his centre here, Norman's Field, here in Teddington, uh, and he decided to meet people with Down syndrome halfway to, in a way, teach them on their own level, to engage them with things they found enjoyable, at the same time believing that they could achieve quite a lot, because previously they'd often been neglected, there was a great stigma around Down syndrome, people with Down syndrome, children often hid them away, would scarcely let them out of the house, considered them an embarrassment, which was a very cruel and an awful waste of talent. They said, oh, but other people, well, the sisters and brothers won't get married because other people will think we've got bad genes or something. Now, Down syndrome is about having an extra chromosome, and Down syndrome people have some childlike characteristics, both in terms of stature or lack of uh, muscle tone, um, and uh, they um, are different in their range of abilities. However, some of them can achieve great academic success. A few of them have graduated from, from, from university. I've known of a Down syndrome woman who was a journalist and so on. So Dr. Down was the very beginning of changing attitudes to uh, Down syndrome. Up until him, his time, for example, it wasn't realised that one of the key markers of Down syndrome is that uh, these people have two rather than three palmar creases. Perhaps you can see my three palmar creases. Those without Down syndrome, in almost every case, have three palmar creases on the left and right hand, whereas Down syndrome people tend to have um, only two. And um, this was the very beginning of special needs education. I don't mean those with moderate SEN, I mean those with a more serious form of SEN that uh, he began to treat them and recognize that they could accomplish a lot. So it's open on Saturdays and Sundays, this museum, and you can learn an awful lot about it. The uh, Down Syndrome Association is also based here, so well worth a visit if that's a, su a subject of curiosity to you.